Hello and welcome to the Birdie Wing Podcast. I'm doing this in the wrong order, but whatever. I am Iron Agro. And I am Lucian Graves. And this is the Rainbow Bullet. And on today's episode, uh, we'll be talking about episode two, which I forget the Innocent name of. Innocent Tyrant. Innocent Tyrant. That's what it is. Thank that you. That is, uh, so last episode uh, was Eve's nickname, Rainbow Bullet. This episode is Aoi's nickname, Innocent wow. Tyrant. Got to get the iconic duo in there. <laughs> yeah. Start off right away with the nickname for both of them. Perfect. <laughs> It is the perfect Nick game for this show. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Uh, what do you think of this episode? Uh, I thought it was very good. Uh, very like where the last episode, a lot of stuff happened in mm-hmm. the, the twenty minute time span. This one, not much happened, but it was all interesting, good stuff. It was like yeah, the exact it, opposite it all felt kind necessary. Of it was like sort of build up from last week, paid off this week. Yes, and. It, <laughs> We were, for most of the episodes, still on the Eve hasn't slept in, like, 48 to 72 hours. Train. And she's still kicking ass. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't matter for her. No. She has the adrenaline rush that is golf. Yeah. Well, now that she's playing with Owie, it's golf. Mm-hmm. Before, it was just hit ball with stick for money. True. Very different uh, kind of things. Yeah. She pierced her heart with golf. They pierced each other's <laughs> yeah. heart. Gold. Yeah. It's a metaphor, get it? <laughs> I do love how, like, right off the bat, uh, you start, right, and we see Eve's drive from last episode, mm-hmm. like her blue bullet drive yeah. um, from last episode, which, like, broke Helene Roberts, yep. uh, inspires Aoi. Not inspire, makes Aoi fall in love. <laughs> like, like... They took it out of a shoujo manga falls in love. There's floating petals. There's the, like, she sees the blue streak from the blue bullet. <laughs> like, it's not just, you know, hey, viewer, look, mm. it's a blue streak because blue bullet. Like, Aoi sees the blue streak from blue bullet. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one. Uh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, and... My first note is actually a few few minutes in, so I I like that we get to see from her point of view their their meeting, they come mm-hmm. together, we play the op, and then we get so their good. golf. And I I'm I'm going to my first note. The I love the way that Owie's golf is visualized as well. Yeah, like it's really good. Figuring out what she's going to do and how it's going to hit. She has a very different thought process than. Uh, than Eve does. Eve is very yeah. She has the more like classical the one, yeah. but like a prodigal. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's not normal. It's just it's more traditional. Um, you know, like following the line, following the um, you know, uh, the lay of mm-hmm. the green and all that. You know, like like her mom says in the opening of the episode, it's in her <laughs> blood. Yeah. She has two gifts, and one is me, and the other is her dad. Her natural her talent, gifts not are her parents. No natural talent. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah, her gifts, not not effort, not um, you know, uh, the inherent wealth of being raised by a CEO of one of the most successful companies in the whole sport. Not golf. No, her made gift specifically for her. Yeah, exactly. Right. Not a unique brand for Aoi. Just it's. Her her gift are me and my insane golfing capabilities, and her father and his insane golf capabilities. She's the chosen her dad, one. the monster. By the way, that was his nickname. Yes, that's the right. Monster. I have the monster. <laughs> like, you know. So it is literally the you won't understand this reference, but the like Rock Lee versus Gara, you know, um, effort versus talent. Mm-hmm. Uh, like classic anime trope of like one was born with with talent and the other <gasps> put in all of the training and effort who will win uh uh talent one talent, <laughs> talent one 
so, like a lot because she's also been golfing her whole life it's not just talent no she actually it's not like she just sat on her ass and was like well she's my actually parents are good, very good, good at it and she likes it mm -hmm. like that's the thing i love the most about watching Aoi play is like you know eve you know she has this like aggressive golf mm -hmm. and Aoi at one point mentions like she she loves eve's like yeah. aggressive golf and she even says she's never seen it before but it feels like nostalgic or familiar which what could that be about uh, yeah what i don't know be? actually I, i'm not sure uh am i supposed to know like i have a th i have a theory but it's based on later information so we'll, okay cool we'll, same we'll come back around like, same i just wasn't sure yeah, if we'll come like back around yeah all right as of so now, let no me highlight that know. a different color yes uh and we'll, as like a we'll return to this we'll return to that, uh, yeah. <laughs> talk about that but, in the future yeah yeah but the 14th hole was a really mm. cool yeah most like, of the challenged. episode was the just the 14th hole yeah it shows their personalities very well. Mm -hmm. it's you know, a, it's like, very, here's the very most difficult hole. Made. How yeah. do they handle it? Yes, Owie's a very technical, make it swerve just the right way, land on just the right spot, and Eve is just hit it in a straight line as hard as possible. <laughs> the end. The cut between, like, Amine explaining everything and, like, the theory, and mm -hmm. here's the best strategic way to tackle the hole. And it cuts from her explanation to Eve aiming at the woods. Yeah. I loved every time it cut to her. Uh, like, she was like, ah, but you do not get it. You will be, your heart will be pierced because of golf stuff. And then and he's just like, aha, I see. I've fallen in yeah. love. I, Eve. Yeah, e Eve perfection. just, like, smile, you know, like... She, I, I think the thing is, right, like, Amine is so used to seeing everyone Aoi plays against just be completely destroyed, Yep. right? Much like everyone we've seen Eve play against, mm -hmm. right? They just, they're broken by the end of it because, you know, they destroy people in, like, different ways, right? Yep. Like, Eve is trying to destroy you. She doesn't want you to enjoy the game. She wants you to quit when mm -hmm. she is done, <laughs> right? But Aoi just does it by being herself and playing. Yes. You know? what, both of the, what both of them really want is a worthy opponent. Fair. Yeah. They finally it kind found of falls in each other. Yeah. It kind of follows the theme of them like having completely different upbringings and perspectives mm -hmm. while being like similar to each they other are, as well. In fact, you know. Very, very specifically follow the tropes of shonen rivals. Yeah, they, they do. A lot of those tropes. <laughs> yeah. Even the Eve color also schemes. has like superpowers. Yes, Eve does have superpowers. <laughs> yeah, and she shouts her attack names. She does. I like that she just canon like canonically on a golf course, mm -hmm. mind you. Like, it's a golf course, dude. Like, yep. people get in trouble for the most minute shit in the world on a golf course. Like, hey, uh, like Eve wouldn't be able to golf there because of her, the way she's dressed, a hundred percent. If she wasn't just playing against the owner, mm. like, on a bet, she would not be allowed on that course because of the way she's dressed, dude. Yeah. Golf courses are so uptight on, like, you know, sound levels. We are uh, so... What you're wearing. We are so rich and famous and must maintain <laughs> our upkeep. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I guess some of it is focus, right? Like, I kind of understand, like, high levels of noise. Mm -hmm. Uh, certainly yeah. shouting out I, uh, yeah. blue bullet uh, is a little that's disruptive. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, the, the the outfit stuff is a little snooty, for sure. Uh, we, speaking of blue bullet, we saw, of, like, we saw three of Eve's bullets. Yes, the blue, another blue, a green, and a red. Yeah, uh, so blue is, like, the straightforward long shot, mm -hmm. uh, like a power shot. Red is... Just it like straight vertical shot, but then it just magically teleports forward. I guess, um, like it it went straight up through the trees and then somehow ended up like, I don't know, like fifty yards, seventy yards, like forward. Well, I don't know. It went like it went mostly up in the kind. It of... went straight up. <laughs> Look, it's magic golf. Okay, she's super powerful. I know it is. Uh, and then Green Bullet, which is just, what if my putter was a driver? What if? <laughs> She's every kid at mini golf, mm -hmm. but it worked. 
Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Except I guess it didn't. She didn't land the putt. Well, uh, it, but it she almost got landed. Close. Yeah. She tied. She tied, right? Yeah, they tied. Or did she win? No. She won. That's right. No, she. That was the tie for the eagle. Owie won. Owie won. What? Yep. Because um, yeah. If she had hit that shot, they would have tied. But she missed, and so Owie would have gotten an eagle, and Eve would have gotten a birdie. Wait, but they both. Oh, you're right. Yeah, she hit the ball three times, four to four times. Mm -hmm. She would have hit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because she didn't land that uh, like third shot. Mm -hmm, that's right. Um, I'm remembering now. Yeah. Um, also, Owie, you know, her, her like, she was so excited. She wanted Eve to hit the shot, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, she tells Amine, like, no, she's got it. She, she'll hit it. Yep. She doesn't, but <laughs> doesn't she feel like a golden retriever at times? Pretty much. Owie. I guess she both just, of them like, do. Aoi, like, her personality feels like one to me, you know? Like, she'll just follow Eve into the forest <laughs> for a follow-up shot. That was a good bit. She runs out of the club room at the end of the episode, like, in the post credit scene, oh, to yeah, find Eve. Oh, yeah, when she Eve. sees Eve. Oh, that's so good. Like, she sees her on the TV, and, mm. again, in a golf course, like, uppity, you know, stick-in-your-ass golf course, she drops everything she's doing and bolts to go see Eve. Yep. She's like a dog when when uh you come home. <laughs> You know? She is in love, like, oh, Lucian. Oh, in love. I know she is. I don't, I'm not blind. <laughs> I have eyes. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, man. Uh, so was Eve, by the way. Yeah, Did Eve, you hear what she like, told Rose? Oh, what was the line? Where I have it She's somewhere. holding her chest. I wrote it her, down. Yes, that's right. You'd say it. Oh, man. Ever since that day, it aches here and it won't stop. Mm -hmm. It feels like if I don't do something, it's going to blow yep. while holding her chest. So good. Yeah. And we totally, get They're straight, though. They're, they're, yeah. they're just friends. Just friends. They were roommates, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah. That's the end of the show. They become roommates. Um, uh, as historians will call them, very good friends. Yes. Um, but we have... We also meet... Uh, Rose, uh, Aleon, is that how you say her last name? Aleon? A Aleon? Aleon? Something like that, yeah. Aleon, Aleon, Aleon I forget. Rose Mafia Lady. Yeah. And her pet Boss. turtles, for some reason. Yeah, she does have two pet turtles. Yes. And, like, I love that she, Eve gets to meet her because uh, they're running a golf scam out in the streets. Yeah. And you just... Yeah. And she... Bang, Dude, her... one hit, it's over. <laughs> so funny that her putt mm. she like you know scamming everyone and then she just plays it like pinball you're pretty much yep you she hit, broke it you had to hit it as hard as possible to not uh get the through the magnet gotten to get the magnets to hit in yeah to just like ignore the magnets mm. she just like well i'll just brute force it back and forth and back and forth it seemed to be something like someone uh, her, her like they manually did so you make it go fast yeah. enough, boom. Nothing mm -hmm. to worry about. And I, love how I mean, the, she knows it. I love scam. how it snaps. Yeah, she hits it so hard, the thing just breaks. But yes, yeah, so we got our first look at the golf mafia. Uh, mm -hmm. She gets it. It's in there, and like, I gotta make a deal. I, I gotta get into this uh, un under fifteen. How old are how, how old are these people, by the way? I have no idea. Uh, well, under 15. Under 15. Cool. <laughs> They're 14 years old, we'll go with. This is, it's really they weird could they 15, are. They could be 15, I guess. Like, Isn't under 15 you know, you 15 under... can include 15. Okay, we're going to go with their 15, because uh, any, like, even 15 feels really weird for them. Yeah, but anyways, I mean, uh, yeah. she has, con Rose has connections. And, uh, she even Which Eve even knows. Yep. <laughs> I mean, her connections, like, you know, she says to Eve, like, you were smart to come to me. Like, you know, my boss is the one who's sponsoring the event. Yep. <laughs> you know, Catherine is the sponsor of this event. And so if I can get you in there, but it's going to cost a favor. Oh. And she's like, yeah, I don't care. That's fine. Get me in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Maybe we'll see that favor pay off. Uh... You know, get her into some trouble later. Who knows? No, it's only the mafia. Don't deal with the mafia. Good advice. We will find I don't know, out. No, man. Later. Sometimes deal with the mafia. You need to get into <laughs> a under fifteen girls golf tournament in short notice, so you can golf against your uh, rival slash love interest. 
Maybe then you can deal with the mafia. Yeah. It's for love, okay? <laughs> for love of sport and for love of girl. <laughs> now, um, what did you think of the ED? It's good. I really like the ED. It's it's a it's a nice change of pace from the OP. Like, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, Venus Line is one of my favorite songs, like, ever. But <laughs> it's you go from like I mean this episode wasn't too insane. Mm -hmm. But the general insanity that is Birdie Wing to like nice calm yeah it's a good uh, outro song ed but there's always a post credit scene so if you're watching this and are some somehow watching birdie wing for your first time mm -hmm. please always watch past the credits there is like always a, a post credit scene <laughs> yes where Alwi finally sees eve again yeah has to run to her all the way from from the clubhouse to uh to uh, wherever Eve is, wherever. you know, teeing off from. Yep. One of the things I, I really liked uh, in this episode was, like, the musical, like... Yes, the, I was going to point out... The thematic out, um, differences between Eve and Owie. Where... Uh, I ha I wrote a note on Eve's last hit. The, the track that played there. I forget which one it was, but that one in particular was really good. Uh, when she's hitting I'm not that, sure when the she's exact... Hitting that putt. All the horns are playing. I love the track, like the oh, music. Well, I, I know the one you're talking about, like, yeah. It's, it's a very good track. Overall, just the soundtrack's really interesting. Like, it has mm -hmm. a lot of horn instruments, which you don't It does, expect. yeah. It's very jazzy. Yeah. And it really fits the overall aesthetic. Yeah. I, I love the, like, thematic difference, though, between, like, you know, for, like, both of their drives on the 14th hole, mm -hmm. right? You have Eve's, like, aggressive, like, rock music, like, her electric guitars and everything as, mm -hmm. as she's, like, teeing off. And then you contrast that with, like, Aoi's, like, this lighthearted, like, uplifting music with, like, a flute and piano. And it just, it shows their, like, personalities and the way that they view golf, mm -hmm. you know? Like, Eve sees this as, like, a life-or-death battle. You need to take it seriously. You know, I'm I'm killing my opponent. I'm killing their desire to play the game. And, and Owie, Owie, Owie is just, like, it's this just is a fun a game, game, man. Why you have to be mad? <laughs> Why you have to be mad? <laughs> you know, it's just a fun game part of our daily life. And then I love how... I just uh, love those differences. Eve's it's so like, interesting okay, to show that musically. You win. You can do whatever you want. And Owie's just like, play one round with me one yeah. round play around with me not not one whole one round mm -hmm. it's so good this is a job this episode does such a good job of setting up their dynamic it does which is the core it of does. the show for the whole whole pretty much whole thing yeah and it sets up like you know the whole like they're opposite they play for different reasons they have different ideals different upbringings but they're very similar at like their core and, and like there are just these core similarities between them while being so completely opposite in every other way you know uh it's a really intriguing dynamic yeah and they're, it's done very well their dynamic is so good with each other they bounce off each other perfectly they are mirrors of each other in the exact right ways they have a very mm. good rival slash romantic relationship already set up it's perfect dynamic yeah no i it's really incredible how quickly they set it up mm -hmm. it didn't feel rushed no, you know? I mean, we like, did spend like a it whole, felt pretty natural a whole episode on it but it, like it was the perfect decision yeah yeah spend the whole episode on it set up set up the two core characters because they'll be there the whole time there mm -hmm. is no birdie wing without owie and eve no. I say that, and then and then one of them's gonna get murdered halfway through the next season. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before before we end for the day, there is one more talking point we have we have to mention, and I don't think you know this yet, Lucian. I we need you listeners and Lucian to go and vote in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards for Birdie Wing for Best Original Series. Ooh. It is nominated for Best Original Anime, uh, among some other nominees that are also good. But this one is the best, obviously. Uh, but oh yeah, it's losing. Unfortunately, it's losing. But you need to go vote for it anyway. 
Doesn't yeah, matter. I'm voting Stand for. I just ground. voted for Birdie Wing. Stand your ground. If we all come together, then maybe, maybe we won't come in last place. Maybe. I hope so. <gasps> yeah. I just voted. Yes. I did my part. You do yours. You, do you your have until everyone. January 25th at 5 p.m. PT. That means when this comes out, as of uh, it'll be the 21st. You will have to get it done as soon as possible. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> But, uh, I think that's it for me. Anything for you, Lucian? No, I don't think right. so. Well, then, we will be back next week with episode three. Do you know the title of that one, Lucian? I do. It is a match between just the two of us. Perfect. We can make it if we try. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you next week. Bye. Bye. We are back for an emergency interruption at the end or beginning or middle of some point during this podcast. I do not know. I forgot to mention the fun golf fact of the week. Lucian, are you ready for the fun golf fact of the week? I am ready for the fun golf fact of the week. If you choose to walk rather than ride 18 holes, you will not only walk roughly four miles, but also burn 2,000 calories. To compare, golfers that ride carts burn about 1,300 calories. Damn. Hey, you know, if you're going to go to the 19th hole afterwards, uh, you might as well walk. You'll burn off whatever you eat and drink after. 700 extra calories. That, that's worth it. Four miles. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs>